Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 14 by 14 inch canvas and a will to swipe and some mead and black paint which I have put just enough of on, I hope, and not too much on so that I have a nice wet layer to work with but not a humongous amount of sloppy overflow which I do not want but I suppose if I had it I've got a scrape dish I just noticed handy so far so good I did take a picture of that cool painting first <laughs> just in case I like black and whites what can I say I have a lot of them I have a lot of art I've never shared I just don't have the time my staff is all on vacation permanently <laughs> Whoa. Hey, I've never done that before. It's the first time for everything, I guess. Well, I've got some prison pores, and I'm going to start with Chantilly Lace and use it as a base layer. And I have been doing straight across swipes, and I want to try and change it up a little bit. I also want to take some of this paint away. And this is a great spatula because it will pick up a blade of paint. And I could probably pick up a blade every time and it's still going to cover that mead and black paint. I hope is back on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on my link tree. My link tree is underneath the video. So I've decided also rather than going diagonal or straight across that I'll do it in sections. And if there happens to be any black left, that's okay. This is pretty thick. It's a little unnerving because it is so thick. They will probably merge. Who knows? But in any case, we're just going to do the same thing I've been doing, only slightly differently. I want to use pinks. I'm going to make it easy on myself. Now the, the difference between squeeze bottling on the Chantilly Lace and pouring it out of the squeeze bottle is quite different because it's so heavy at this point that it does pop cells. If I put it on the canvas, like I have been without the black first, and spread it across with my OXO omelet turning flip and fold best paint spreading spatula in the universe tool, which I'm going to throw in the bucket now uh, and grab a new one. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. It's 11.30 at night. Okay, so wherever I was, I'm sure I'll get back there eventually. This is in need of a shake. This is Frosted Berry. These are my new squeeze bottles, which I'm not entirely used to yet. And that's not coming out. Why is that not coming out? Oh, because I haven't figured out how to twist the... Never mind. Twist the bottle open nicely. I will be just doing a simple spa spatula, spatula, spatula swipe. I am actually sober. <laughs> Not that you know from my talk. I'm going to put a little bit of poinsettia in here. and close them up again. I have some leftover hot orchid and I am looking forward to using it. It does tend to dendrite and stain anything white around it. I am going to use both my pink dahlia. I've got some pink lady around here somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. I wish I had gotten it out because I would have used it. But the pink dahlia is great with the bonfire, and that's making me think I might want to go that way too. I was going to go just for light pale pinks, but since we're doing the sort of kind of offset diagonal weirdness, I guess I'm not in a big hurry to do anything else. I might want a little tiny bit of purple, and I think I'm going to use the Twilight Orchid for that. This is just some orange that I had kicking around from days gone by. I don't know what it is. It might even have been a pretend cell activator. But whatever it is, it's, it's orange. And I'm waiting for my color art orange. Because there's a new set of colors coming out. 
This is that Twilight Orchid. I'm resisting the blue, at least so far. And I want to go less is more in this case. That is my plan. Oh boy, it's a risky plan too. I'm looking around for something, anything. No, I'm just going to be good. Okay, yeah, that's a relative statement. So, I can't use the white with the white, in my mind at least, very easily. I'm going to go up from the center. I'm going to use the purple. Maybe I will put a little white with that. I didn't do that earlier. Pretty sure it'll blend, and I'm going to use some gold. The gold, the gold I didn't leave open, really. Open sesame. The gold is made from Decord Americana and golden product iridescent gold. I actually have some magenta, and I should have thought about that a moment ago. And I wonder if I have enough paint in my center sections. I'm going to try the magenta because this is going to, this looks like it's going to be mostly purple if I don't. And the magenta, at least I know. Could use some black too. I might. Let's do that. Let's use some black. And some more gold. I want to make up more colors. I'm not trying to drag straight down. I, I was telling you that I wanted to leave some black. I'm not sure I left it where I would choose to if I'd have thought about it a little more. I'm going to wipe off my spatula so I make sure. Let's try the white and the magenta. The magenta is a golden magenta. I'm going the big way. I got it to go the distance, yay. And I left myself enough behind. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm, I'm inclined toward the black again. But that's not going to keep me from flooding my swipe tool with purple and gold also. Oh. Oh, that's twice tonight. Now, I kind of really like the organic feel of things not being straight. And that's one of the reasons why I have no problem at all dragging a spatula through. The last picture I, the last painting I did reminded me of um, people all dressed up at night. I also kind of promised myself that pretty soon I would tip something. I'm going to grab... Just enough black. Oh, I'm going to have to turn it around to do it that way. Use my residuals. Use the tip of my spatula. Why not? I think I'm going to snag a little bit of these beautiful white cells. I might want to just put a little gold right there. I hope you can see that. All right, now, do I like what I have? Do I want to steal some paint? Can I even steal some paint? Maybe I didn't want to steal it from where I took it. I said I wanted some black, and black I have. I am going to steal some paint. It's a little different stealing paint with the color art because they're they're mixed with 
Vivid Polypore and Floetrol and a little bit of GAC 800 to keep them from cracking. That paint pouring recipe is underneath the video, by the way. And should you happen to need anything else from me, feel free to make a request for a playlist or a video, or if you have a question. And that is all pretty cool, except for that one mark, which I can make go away because I have a spatula, a magic wand. And is this the one I'm going to tip? Boy, I'm nervous about that. Why? I shouldn't be. Maybe just because I like it already. I've got some paint going over the side. I've got a lot of interesting color combinations going, and that's really what I wanted. I also have some paint in my dish. What will I do with it? I mean, there's nothing to keep me from doing something with it, right? I'm hoping my head is not in the way, as it often is, because I am not... My eyesight is suspect, to say the least. Okay, so I have a little tiny bit of paint. I haven't wasted much of anything, and I'm going to... Yes, am I? I see that canvas. Maybe I'm imagining it, but let's just go for it. I have wanted to do this, and I am doing it. I don't want to destroy all my cells, but I would love to see what happens. I've got rivulets. Maybe I'll go sideways on the diagonal a little bit. See I've got rivulets here and there. Do I like them? I don't hate them. <laughs> I want to steal a little bit. I want to take a little bit of gold. I'm not even sure I'm right about this. This is Mayan gold. And it's fabulous. It's every bit as good as the Decor Americana 24 karat gold, in my opinion. I'm still not sure that that was great. All right, so I didn't really do the pink thing I was contemplating originally, but I'm not minding what I did do. And I also don't mind sticking my spatula in there. Or here. So, if you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. This is very cool. And I, my experience tells me it will continue to get even cooler. Or even better. Or however you want to say that. And uh, as I experiment, I get more ideas about what I might want to try next. Which is the best part about doing it, really. Is the excitement of what comes next. All right, so I love you guys. I'm going to torch release the bubble scout in the paint. Please, like I said, give me a thumbs up. Oh, those patterns are the bomb. You know what? I'm going to have to give you guys a close-up and attempt to shimmer that at you. And I'm not sure I can do that because I have studio on, lights on at night. It's pitch black out. And it's not a gimme that will work. But it's worth a try. I like my little bits of black negative space left behind. That's not hurting my feelings at all. I did wind up having enough paint to extend all the way to the edges, and I like that. Hey, I have a link tree, and on it is my Amazon link, and my two books are on that link tree. On that Amazon link, rather. And they are Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. I'm looking for the top to my paint, and I'm not seeing it. But that's okay. Let me go get my phone. I'll find that when I clean up. I'm sure I will. Let's turn this light out. Let's see if I can... Oh wow, there's some beautiful stuff going on in there. Woohoo! <laughs> this is what I wanted. Well, sort of, kind of. It's, it might be even better than what I wanted. I hope you can see some of that. That is so stunningly beautiful. Wow. Well, this is another one that's going to the show. Hopefully I get in. Those of you who follow me on Facebook, uh, and are part of my Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook will know what I'm talking about. Do I want that little 
There's always something. No, not after you torch. Don't do that after you torch. But I do use float. Um, Flow Troll is a paint leveler, and GAC 800 will keep my paint from cracking. What did I not tell you? I just, everything just went right out of my head. My email address is below the link tree, and I do sell my artwork, so should you be interested in, wow, <laughs> should you be interested in making a purchase or inquiring over a class with me, a private class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, I'm risking it. I see just a couple things I want to lead on just ever so slightly very cautiously though all right so thank you guys for all the donations that help keep me painting all this time if you'd like to be included in the monthly drawing you'll get an invitation if you make a donation through paypal the link is on the bottom right hand corner of my youtube channel banner i'm going to zoom in i don't need the whole three minutes i've got so i'm going to zoom in I can't believe I'm up here shining that light at you without zooming in. That was so dumb. Hopefully. Let's get in even closer. We'll just spin it around. And hope. Hope the good stuff is coming into view. I'm ooing and eyeing, and you're like left hanging up there high <laughs> the wire. Oh, anyway. So, on the link tree you can find my, my uh, PayPal also. And, um... What else? What else? What else? On the link tree, the gallerist clothing. I should put this on some clothing. This is a good one for that. And uh, they have kimono tops and other wonderful designer type investment quality clothing that's worth checking out. My Society6 has all kinds of new stuff and um, they're on the link tree also. My spring clothing is under the video. And if you can't find what you're looking for and you've seen something like this that you'd like to see there, just ask me because I will do that for you. I will add something as long as I can, I will. So I love you guys. Let's try and turn the light back on. Hopefully there's not that much reflection. Boy, I'm having a ball doing these swipes. And I'm so glad you were here to join me. Like I said, if you have questions, please ask. I have over 2,400 videos and they're organized by topic and genre and by the hundred. And if you want a link, you can ask me and I will help you out. I think I've told you just about everything I can think of, and if there's more like Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more, or Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors, those are two Facebook groups. Um, they're also in the link tree. All right, I love you guys. I will see you in on. Thank you again so much for being here, and thank you for your kind words and your lovely comments that keep my morale boosted in the face of my imminent doom. <laughs> but uh, I'll be around. I'm not going anywhere that fast. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you. All of you. You inspire the heck out of me. See you anon.